bottles were found right there in the Mallory docks. That's, that's one of the oldest parts of the city. And what would happen is the cruise ship would come in and the big prop would spin around and it would just blast the bottom and destroy lots of bottles, but at the same time uncover bottles. So oftentimes local collectors would try to get there. So who was the first one on, to get there to get the good bottles? Well, Bob was diving there one day after the ship had left and he decided to come up. As he came up, there was a big crowd of tourists on the uh, Mallory Dock and they looked down and Bob looked up and Bob said, is this Miami? And they go, no! And then he went back down and went up this. Uh, now, I've had, people have asked me about what is, what's it like diving here? Are there a lot of sharks or what have you? So I'll just briefly tell you a couple of quick shark stories. All right, now uh, we have tarpon here. Tarpon are a really large fish that can grow 200 pounds. They're no good to eat. They're silver. They have these big scales. They're like armor. You can walk around the docks and you'll see them. They have this big lower jaw that comes up. Uh, that's the best I can describe it for those of you who don't know what a tarpon is. But if you walk the docks and you look around, you'll, you'll see them. They'll pop up. But those are the resident tarpon. We have tarpon that migrate in May. Now, uh, they come down here in, uh, in May, and they, they come into Key West Harbor, and they also come into some of the large inlets. Well, right behind them are the great hammerhead shark, because they like eating tarpon. And, and these hammerheads, the great hammerhead, can, can, can reach a length of 20 feet and, ex and, ex and exceed over 1,000 pounds. So, uh, last year, I, la I launched my boat at Garrison Marina and go out in the harbor, so I see these commercial uh, backwater fishermen uh, quite often. So as, as to make conversation, I know they go after tarpon, they'll take a customer out, they'll fight them. Tarpon jump, they're incredible game fish, and nobody eats them, they just release them. <coughs> Excuse me. So I said, uh, how is any tarpon out there today? And he said, oh yeah, what do you should ask? I had about a hundred pounder on. Now where they'll fish a lot of times is right off of Mallory Dock, between Mallory and Sunset Key. Uh, they don't have to go very far to get, the, to get the, to hook onto the tarpon. He said, I had about a hundred pounder on, and all of a sudden this enormous hammerhead came, came over, bit the tarpon in half. And by the time, then I started drifting over by the beach uh, across here to Sunset Key, and the hammerhead came back again to finish the job. And, uh, and then I heard another story a couple days later from a, another fisherman. And the fisherman swore the hammerhead was at least 16 feet long, every bit of a thousand pounds or more. And then a local guy, a homeless guy that's been here forever, he was telling a friend of mine, Bob, who runs the aquarium here, Key West Aquarium, that he hooked into uh, a very large tarpon off Christmas Tree Island, and the same thing happened. May is the month. And I've been under one many times where there'll be so many tarpon, you're like inside of a tornado. And they come so close, you can almost touch them, but they'll just won't let you in there. And they spin around, you know, real slow. All you see is a wall of silver around you, and you always wonder what's on the other side. <laughs>